More news breaking regarding the deadly chaos that is happening on the streets in Egypt. You've got all out battles in nearly a dozen cities in Egypt right now. The violence is raging for hours after the government launched an operation to clear the Muslim Brotherhood protesters from two large sites. Uh, in the center of the cities. And a well respected paper in the region just posted this tape that reportedly shows the Muslim Brotherhood members firing on Egyptian security forces. Now, you may remember the Muslim Brotherhood said that they uh, were peaceful in their demonstrations. These videos appear to show otherwise, according to that uh, newspaper. Just look at all these pictures. Incredible what we're seeing on the ground there. Eric Stackelback joins me now. He's a terrorism and national security expert and the author of The Brotherhood, America's Next Great Enemy. Eric, thank you so much uh, for being Martha, with us good today. To be with you. Thank you. Good to be with you. What is the most important thing that you want people to understand about this organization known as the Muslim you, Brotherhood? You know, Martha, this is a group, although their hub, their brothership, so to speak, is in Egypt, they are present in some 70 countries throughout the world. And what everyone needs to understand, Martha, is they are the granddaddy of them all when it comes to modern Islamic terrorist groups. The Muslim Brotherhood spawned Al Qaeda. They created Hamas. And I make the point in the book, Martha, that Without the creation of the Muslim Brotherhood in Egypt way back in 1928, there would have been no 9-11. That may, that may shock some people, but I say it without hesitation, Martha. Everyone behind 9-11, from Osama bin Laden, Khalid Sheikh Mohammed, the hijackers, before they formed al-Qaeda, they belonged to the Muslim Brotherhood. The Brotherhood is the gateway drug to Islamic terrorism. And if you want to understand all this madness, the war on terror, all the chaos we're seeing now, you must first understand the Muslim Brotherhood. It started with them, Martha, and that's why I wrote the book. You know, during the elections in Egypt, uh, it was a fairly close election. The Muslim Brotherhood won. Mohammed Mor Morsi was put in place. Uh, governments around the world, including the United States, recognized uh, that democratic leadership. But as soon as they took over, uh, they really started to carry out some very different policies than the ones that they were elected on. Tell me about that and also what you think, they're, what, what is their larger goal? What does the mother Muslim Brotherhood seek? Yeah, Martha, you know, I was not surprised to see Mohammed Morsi basically become a modern day pharaoh once he took over in Egypt. Look, this is a group, Martha, their founding motto, the creed they live by reads in part, jihad is our way, dying in the way of Allah is our highest hope, martyrdom. Now that creed has never changed, even when Muslim Brotherhood leaders darken the halls of the White House, meeting with the Obama administration, Martha. That is their motto, jihad is our way. So what they want is Sharia law for one and all, whether we like it or not. That is their ultimate goal, really global Islamic domination. That's what the Brotherhood wants, and they're working at it not only in Egypt, but around the world, including here in the United States, Martha. Yes, the Muslim Brotherhood has a presence here in America, and Muslim Brotherhood connected individuals, and I name names in the book, Martha, are actually advising our government on its counterterrorism and Middle East policies. It's the epitome of the fox guarding the hen house, and you wonder why our Middle East policies are such a mess. And, and you claim that in terms of what they're doing in the United States, they are influencing moderate mosques to become something uh, quite different than moderate. You know, Martha, it's a big problem. I've interviewed moderate Muslims who don't want jihad, who don't want Sharia law, who have told me, Eric, I can't go on camera with you and show my face. You have to blur my face because I'm scared that the Muslim Brotherhood will kill me, will kill my families. The Muslim Brotherhood is muscling their way in, Martha, to moderate mosques here in America, and they're effectively taking over the leadership of many American mosques. In the book I document, case after case, how this is happening. And the Muslim Brotherhood openly says, look, the Islamic center, the mosque is, quote, the axis of our movement. It's the beehive for the Muslim Brotherhood movement. So they are really getting involved in the mosques, Martha, and really making a power move there. And it's a scary thing. Hey, Eric, I need to go, but very quickly, uh, you know, a lot is at stake for the Muslim Brotherhood in Egypt right now. You know, what will they do yeah. and who might come to their aid to, to try to hang on to power there? Martha, mark my words, the Muslim Brotherhood will not go quietly. I'm very concerned. Why should we over here care about what happens over there? I am very concerned that the Suez Canal, which a lot of the world's oil passes through every day, will be a target 
for terrorism by the Muslim Brotherhood and its allies. And Martha, if that happens, we will all feel it here in our pocketbook. Oil and gas prices will skyrocket. Also look for more provocations by the Brotherhood, its radical allies against Israel. Nasty things right now in Egypt. Well, your book is uh, frightening and very interesting. Eric, there it is. It's called The Brotherhood by Eric Stackelbeck. Eric, thank you so much. Thank you, Martha.